I'm gonna show you how to nature journal when you only have five minutes. All right, I'm here in Baja, California, Mexico, and this desert intersecting with the ocean, Pacific Ocean, and I'm gonna show you how to nature journal when you only have five minutes. So let's hurry up and find something cool, but not spend too much time looking. I see some cool flowers, cool plant. I'm gonna do that. All right, so let's get started right here. I see this flower, very cool subject. Don't spend too much time finding the perfect subject because one of the best things about nature journaling is it can make whatever you're looking at very cool. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my materials out. Luckily, I think I can do most of that with one hand and hold the camera with the other. I don't have that much gear with me on this expedition. Oh, and I already noticed a really cool bug. There is some type of true bug, a hemiptera, on this um, base of this flower. This one right here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's the same color as the vegetation. So nature is already getting really distracting right now, but I'm not gonna pay attention to that. I'm gonna get my journal page ready and show you how to nature journal when you only have five minutes. So I got a page right here. I'm gonna go for it. I have something already on the page, which helps me not feel uh, paralyzed. And I'm gonna get my clips because it's slightly windy. I highly recommend these clips, um, whether you're nature journaling in windy places or not, but these bulldog clips. Um, and I think I could put those on with one hand. Luckily, it seems possible. I'm gonna grab out my um, most easy to use drawing tool that I have, also one handable. And the first thing I'm gonna do is um, put some metadata. So I'm gonna write down here a little bit about where I am. I don't know that much about it. The time, I don't even know what time it is, but I'm gonna guess it's about 5 p.m. I've sort of been um, detached from devices the first time I'm looking at my phone in a while, 5 p.m. beach location. Um, I can fill that in later, approximately 65 degrees. It's totally sunny. And there's a light breeze. And there's sand dunes next to the beach. You can see all of those elements right there. Um, included in my metadata. And now I'm gonna start drawing this flower right here. So um, I can do, I notice I wonder it reminds me of in a really basic drawing. Ooh, my camera arm is already getting tired. That's a bad sign. So I'm looking at this flower, I'm noticing it has a sort of bilateral symmetry to the, what's actually an inflorescence. So it's multiple flowers all together in one. I see lots of small tubular sort of purple colored flowers. And those are all things I could just write down with words. I don't even need to draw those if I'm not comfortable with drawing. Um, I'm gonna draw the foliage a little bit. It's round, it's very um, succulent looking as are most of the plants that grow in the sand dunes and near the coast um, in Baja, California and um, California in the United States. Um, those vegetation types have um, similarities. And um, I'm just going to write the color because some of some people who are nature drilling for five minutes might not have um, watercolor like I do. So you can see there what I have so far. Um, now I'm gonna write a couple questions and maybe I'll be able to complete this nature journaling session in less than five minutes, like three minutes maybe. Um, very abundant on dunes. Very abundant and homogenous. Not that much biodiv plant biodiversity in this area that I can see. That's something different back there, but a lot of it is dominated by this plant right here, which is a sand verbena dune or sand verbena abronia genus. So those are all things I noticed. Now I'm going to write a few questions. Um, I wonder why so dominant. The assumption in that question is that it is dominant. So I will write, is it dominant? Um, relationship question, what eats it? That has an assumption built into it, so I will write, if anything. 
And then another question would be, um, does it prevent erosion? Slash slow erosion. Okay, so now I'm gonna write a couple things that it reminds me of. It reminds me of sand verbena in Northern California. It reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of Ipomoea Pest Capri or whatever that beach morning glory is. Reminds me of carpet. So this whole section right here, I just nature journaled right now in less than five minutes. And that's how you can nature journal too in less than five minutes. No excuses.